Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thanks so much for joining. Today, we're going over your photos again. If you're new to the show, we critique the photos of your football helmets that you send in. I talk about the helmets and all the pieces that are you're putting on those helmets, and I give you my opinion of them and ideas on how to make them better. Steve is a photographer, and he takes the approach of how to what gives you tips and tricks on how you can do things a little bit different to make your photos a little bit nicer so you get all of the proper accolades on your social media of choice. That's that? right. That's right. And welcome to episode 47. And if you haven't been on the show yet, or even if you have, send in your helmet pictures, your field use, your collectibles, doesn't matter. Email them to pics at greengridiron.com. More and more people, I think, don't know what they actually are wearing on their head, Jay. So when they send in photos, um, I know that they like to hear the face mask styles. Oh, okay. So I, you know, I, I think that that's pretty good. And that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Some of the people, they get school issued helmets and they just get what they okay. get. First up is Kevin. We're coming out swinging today. Wow, these, these are nice photos, Steve, geez. Isn't this nuts? Let me go to so, his little write-up first. So he's I was gonna say, where is Kevin? This does not look like a United States design. Good catch. Yeah, he's in Germany uh -huh. um, for the what do you think? Leipzig Hawks? And yeah, sure. Sure. Leipzig. How's that? That's probably close. Um, and his buddy Maxim is a uh, talented photographer, and he got these pictures that he sent over and he threw his Instagram up there. So go ahead and check him out. This guy did a fantastic job of getting the overall look and feel, the aggressiveness of the color scheme. I love him. Right out of the gate, this is fantastic. And you would say, no question, this is with a real camera, right? No doubt. No yeah. doubt. And yeah, I think, they're, I think the photos are pretty cool. Um, definitely uh, somebody who, who knows their way around a camera. The, as far as the pieces of the helmet go, it goes, you know, the reason I said that this doesn't look like a U.S. bill is kind of the that um, eagle uh, on the front there that's actually very German looking. Uh, yes, it uh, is. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, the Germans, they've always had kind of a thing with fashion. They, 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 they push certain envelopes, right? Is that a good way to say it? Sure. I think that that makes sense. And it's not that I'm knocking the eagle, but it's almost not necessary. The rest of that pattern, that is awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It it almost it looks thin, and I wouldn't think that this is like a twenty mil thickness. It probably is a bit thinner than that. Maybe you know the thickness of electrical tape, maybe a six mil, eight mil, something like that. But I think it's a pretty cool stripe design. I really do like it. Um, the Oakley visor looks great in this helmet, and this is an inch. I don't know what color this is. We'll say lime green, Steve. Yeah, that works. Here we've got a clear Oakley visor. We have an SF2BD face mask with a sports star chin strap. And I think this would be a uh, sports star victory hurricane chin strap, black with black straps. Yeah, this is really a beautiful setup. Yeah, I'm going to go with a pretty high score right out of the gate for this guy. I just really love the, the colors the, and the decals are nice. Uh, let's go with the 8.0. Thank you, Kevin R. Awesome, awesome job. Next up is Brian G. Oh, cool. Oh, oh yeah. So he says, hey, I'm Brian. I go to Hancock High School, which is uh, where Brett Favre played. Uh, they have two uniforms, so he took a picture of both helmets, and he thinks that they came out amazing. I think that this one is Absolutely great. We love stories and these are stories. Jay? Yeah, I do love the stories and you know the one with the helmets on the ground. Um, obviously, this is taking place during practice. You got a lot going on in the back. You got a guy snapping the ball. You got a guy about to throw the ball. Uh, and you know, it, I feel like there's a group of people behind these helmets or behind the person who's taking the, the picture just kind of waiting probably to get yelled at by the coach that they're not they're screwing around. Yeah, exactly. And look at this one here. Yeah, this is great. Uh, the rabbit ears on this guy kind of I, helped to fill those bl blank spaces. I don't know. What do you, what do you, what's your take? I agree. Yeah, the composition of this is awesome. I'd love to see just a properly laid out photo. And there's also a lot going on in this picture. 
Look at yeah, I feel like this is either before or after a game on a Friday night. Uh, it's either they're celebrating a victory or they are get chanting uh, to, it's about to go to battle. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful place and the photos are great. These I like stuff that's a little bit different and that tells a story. This satisfies that. Yeah, and this is another Speed Flex with an SF2BD face mask. That SF2BD is pretty much the most common style that we see comes with the helmets. Uh, on the blue helmet with the red face mask, that's an SF2EG face mask, uh, which is basically the same exact thing, except for it's got some eye guards on there. I'm gonna go with the 6.8 on the helmets. Okay, cool. All right, thank you very much, Brian. Next up is Bill Yu, and here we go. So Bill says he got this helmet and the mask off of eBay. He got the chin strap from us, which wound up being the wrong one. But he said our customer service was fantastic. We corrected an error and um, he'll be back for more. And his buddy painted this with a beautiful gold candy and then he did the decals. Okay, so I was assuming when you were reading that that he bought that a Green Bay Packers helmet off of eBay, but no, he bought the helmet and then he did all of the pieces and building it all himself. And now that I look a little bit closer, this is not the color the Packers wear. I'd almost say this is better than the color the Packers wear. I would say this is better than what the Packers wear. If he's onto something with this color scheme. Yeah, he bought the chin strap, I think a couple of other components from us. More and more people just like to build their own stuff. I've been saying it for years. Yeah. The NFL, you have, sorry, Steve, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, the NFL and Riddell, whoever has these licenses, they should just sell the official decals for a premium. Let people put their own models together. Yeah. I, they're missing out. But this is America, Steve, and that's not the way for them to make the most money, I guess. I don't know. Crazy. But, you know, as, as a Detroit Lions fan, I definitely got to say that this is a color that I prefer over the the yellow that they wear on the field. Um, and then it feel, you know, the green trend strap, I think that this is something that they should let the, the teams in the NFL wear. Like, why not? And I mean, there's an HS4 face mask on this thing. Like, this wasn't cheap to put this all together i'm sure so yeah well so as far as, yeah as far as the components go this is a riddell speed helmet with a s2bd hs4 face mask uh hard cup chin strap uh 3d bumpers decals that look pretty legit overall steve i am going to go with and i'm gonna go with an 8.2 okay eight point even though it's a packers helmet you know <laughs> spoken like a true lions fan man give it some love Excellent. Really good work. Okay, so next up is Benjamin. Benjamin went on a little bit of a uh, scenic route with his helmets, and I am okay with that. Jeez, Benjamin. Wait, this, the, is this the Appalachian? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I mean, this one here looks like a good gust of wind, and that helmet's going to be no more. So... Great look here. The Nike visor really makes a lot of sense with this build. You got uh, Steve, that's your favorite face mask there. The um, yes. SF2BDCTX. Uh, we've got black Under Armour unbranded visor clips on there. The black down of the tinted um, Nike visor. We got a Riddell TCP hard cup chin strap. And this is all on a Speed Flex helmet. So overall, I really like this look. It's got that really mean, aggressive look and feel to it. Simple photos that weren't simple to get, and I appreciate that. I love it. It's all wet. It's out there in the mist. So, Benjamin, let us know, where did you take this helmet? Or yeah. where did you take the pictures of this helmet? Uh, we're curious. Yeah. Uh, so, overall, Steve, I'm going to give this one a pretty high score again because I just like the meanness of it. But, again, I don't. the pictures might be better. The yeah, I, yeah. The the actually, I don't know about this one. The helmet's pretty badass looking. I love what he did. To going on location like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta give right. it some some bonus points for that. Uh, I'm gonna go with an eight point two. Eight point two. All right, man. Yeah, all right. We're getting we're getting some good scores. Uh, next up, we've heard from John M before, but these just had to make the cut. Well, well, well. You know, that's our neighbor to the north 
um, in Canada, and he has definitely stepped up his photo game. He's playing Easter egg over here. Look at the one. <laughs> <laughs> he's got them hidden in the background. John, he's, he's trying. He's really trying. <laughs> Uh, I think these are great. Um, there's a couple of things that I would do differently, but that's only my personal opinion. For example, he's got the, the blue and white Under Armour visor clips on that uh, Giants helmet, but I would probably just go with the regular gray. No doubt. They wear. Maybe he's yeah. had this long, you know, we've only had those, our unbranded clips in stock for a little while now. So maybe he took these pictures before we had them possibly i think that purple um, oakley visor is pretty cool i think it's very cool it looks like a, an insert right jay i would say i don't know it's hard to tell i think so i gotta give this a, a pretty high score i have to see if i have to you got no choice. You just I'm got to go this and this is an average between these two helmets steve yeah. Um, but the chrome looks great. I love went into these helmets. I'm going to go with a 9.1. Whoa, man. John's getting a high score of the day so far. So, so far. So far. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, next up is Jacob. Jacob, another guy who watches the show and he's taking it outside. We've got some, we've got some cool uh, decals in the back. These look like chrome decals. You got the Ohio flag. I love and this. The U.S. flag in chrome. We got the stripe that's cut off right at a spot that makes a lot of sense. Golden flashes. That's that's interesting. I, when I see KSU, I think of Kennesaw State University, but I don't think this is a Kennesaw helmet. I don't know. And I, from what I'm seeing here, Jay, it still is the warning label down here. So is this brand new somehow? With Yeah, it is. It still has... So, I mean, this guy, he, he couldn't wait. He did this all up and before he even ripped the tags off. I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah, and I've never seen this, um, this logo before, so I'm not sure of the school. Was there any story that came with these pictures? There wasn't. Steve? I wish there was a story with this one, but I didn't see one. Yeah, so I want to know. I, I, you know. This is the first time I'm seeing this, so, I'm, so I haven't, we haven't researched or anything like that. But overall, I think it looks cool. I would swap out the warning label, um, mm -hmm. but outside of that, I think everything looks pretty good. So we, this is a Riddell speed with an S3, S3BDU because we got the U bar right up the top or the, the they call it a bull, what is it, bullhorn or bull nose or something like that. I don't know. I just call it a, a U bar. Um, then we've got the blue Under Armour visor with the standard Under Armour visor clips, the Riddell hard cup chin strap. And then we got those cool decals in the back. That's cool. I think the face mask and the chin strap are navy along with that stripe it's hard to tell even though it's yeah i would say that's navy right yeah yeah i navy, would say so. navy blue is very dark it's just how it is. This is, then that's, that's even a photo that's outside exactly nice that's picture i'm going to start collecting the photos of people putting them out on their deck railing in the nice right in the, corner yeah right in the corner yeah. yeah i like it i like it so see for this guy i am going to go with i really like that ohio flag on the back uh, for some reason i'm going to go with a 7.2. All right, cool. All right. A little love to the lineman with that, you know, 3BDU face mask. You're right. I would consider that not a very common mask. Next up is Max S. Gravy. Another outside photo. And Max is pushing the limits here. He's got yeah. snow on the helmet. He's got the green gridiron 3D bumper. Love to see that. Great color scheme with the white and the red. And a little touch of blue uh, in that Under Armour, excuse me, a little touch of blue in that Oakley visor decal tab, mm -hmm. tab decal. What's the, um, what's the name on the side, Steve? Selects, the yeah. maple, maple leaf selects. I can't tell if the US flag is an embossed deck or not, but certainly it looks like the upper, uh, the Canadian flag is embossed deck, so that's nice. Yeah, uh, we, those are right now. Those are the only two that we sell uh, are the U.S. and the Canadian flags, and then Boss Tech, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm curious why not go with the red Oakley stickers instead of the blue. You know, uh, I, was, I was thinking the same thing, but maybe that's just so obvious, and maybe it's just his little bit of red, white, and blue yeah. to match the little bit of red, white, and blue back here. I don't hate it by any means. 
Boom. Yeah, this is cool. This is the photo though. This is the one. That's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I like the photos. I like the face mask. So this is a Speedflex helmet with an SF. 2 EGTX face mask. You got the eye guards and you got the, the, those uh, 45 degree bars uh, in the grill. And then we've got the Oakley clear visor with red and white Under Armour visor clips and the green gridiron 3D bumper. And then it also looks like we got a hard cup chin strap. So I'm going to go see with a 7.9 with this for this guy. 7.9. I'm okay with that one, man. Thank you very much, Max. Next up. Let's see here, Jay. This one is for you. Uh-oh. Yeah, here we go. This is interesting. That does not look like a decal on this helmet. It looks like it was stenciled on there and then clear coated over. Wow, look at that guy on the other side. This is nice. I mean, Paint job. Blue. It's beautiful. There's so much about this helmet that I like. Um, the color is great. The... I kind of, I, I don't know how, what your take on it is, Steve. I like the lighting. It's the lighting like under cabinet lighting. And I think that that countertop is cool. Like he knew exactly what he was doing to get the most out of that right there, that bright blue against the all strike, you know, the striking white. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, and then we got the blue uh, Oakley visor with the black, you know, Oakley uh, sticker tabs on there, uh, black chin strap. This is an S2B face mask, Steve. So you know, see, you've only got one bar up at the top, so you drop the D in the uh, code. Uh, um, you know. Hard cup chin strap, uh, you know, get that blue Oakley visor. This looks great. I think everything is stenciled on here, Steve. I'm gonna go, it looks like a great paint job on top of that all too, right? Yeah. So um, obviously it's gonna get points for being a Detroit Lions helmet. So let's go with a 9.4. Oh my God. <laughs> great score, man. <laughs> no bias there, Steve. That's None. great. And that was by Casey, by the way. So. Casey, good job, Casey. Yep, yep. Store the roar. Dude, wait till you see these next ones. So this is from Larry M. And hold up. So he said he had to redo the pictures after watching you all on YouTube, uh, maybe he felt like he had to step up his game a little bit. He wanted to show just how beautiful. Uh, we do some work for Third Coast Customs and they're, they're great to work with. They're down in Texas, I think Houston, if I remember correctly. So we got a lot of cool stuff going on here, but just look at the way that that face mask matches the chin cup on the chin strap and it matches the decal on the side of the helmet. Uh, all looks beautiful. You know, when we're doing chrome like that, you got to do the chrome at the exact same time, or they could be a, a half a shade off. I uh, got the small little Texas flag on the back. I think that's a nice, excuse me, the small little Texas um, logo on the back. I think that's a nice little decal or nice little touch. It is a nice little touch. This is one of the most unique designs that I've seen. It's very 70s. Um, yeah, you know, Navy did a sign very similar to this a few years back. I would, I'm going to guess 2016, maybe 2015. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it has that, you know, had, had, had stripes and curves in the design that were similar to this. Um, and I think this looks pretty cool. And I think it pulls it off really nice, maybe even better, because you see the way that that copper color is underneath the, the face mask. And you really followed the contours of the helmet, putting the white you know, on the helmet. Uh, I'm going to go, Steve, with this guy with a 9.2. 9.2, man. Yeah. Right. I know how much work goes into doing a helmet like that, and it's considerable. And they really pulled it off nicely. Okay, and next up and last up is Tyson. So he says, I'm 14 years old. I just finished my last Pop Warner season. I play QB. Just moved to Arizona from California, and he's going to be starting high school. There's a lot of things on here to talk about. Um, this yeah, so we got Speed Flex like helmet. Yeah. We got the SF2BD SW face mask. We've got, well, it's, an, it's a Riddell, a hard cup chin strap, and then it's got an Under Armour chin strap sock on top of it. Uh, and then we've got an Oakley visor but with zip ties holding it on there and that's fine yeah uh, so he's got the sports star adapters down here um which he opted not to click it in here i will say though man 
you're 14, you're going into high school, this is a youth helmet, you really should get an adult helmet now, it's time. Yeah, and I got a feeling that the, this helmet is now going to be headed off to display. But so, uh, you know, we have helmet hangers, you can see them on the back wall behind me here, and this helmet would look great in his bedroom or game room or wherever uh, he wants to display it because probably he's going to be getting another helmet from his high school. But you are absolutely correct, Steve. You don't want, once you hit, once you hit 14, you got to get an adult helmet because you don't want to be getting hit by 15, 16, 17 year olds with a, with a youth, hel youth helmet for sure. Um, so overall, pretty good. I'm going to go with a 7.1 for that guy. I like all your scores say except for the first one. I think the the Kevin R deserved a, a nine point. Oh yeah. Well, I was saving that for that Lions helmet. <laughs> right. That's all we got time for today. So if you want to be on the show and if you want to see your helmets, you got to email your pictures to picks at greengridiron.com. We will get to them and don't be afraid to send in a little story. We want to hear about it. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to keep your distance from everyone else. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.